That was pathetic from Manchester United. Man United 3, Everton 3, two drop points with a last second equaliser from Calvert-Lewin. What the fuck was David De Gea doing for that goal? What was he doing for their first goal? What were United's defence doing? What was anybody doing? That was... Uh, that right there is why nobody really considers us title contenders. We've scored 10 more goals than Man City in the league this year. Six more than Liverpool. Nobody has scored more than us in the Premier League. And nobody has conceded more than us inside the top 10. Spot what the problem is. United, they're throwing away two points. Twanzebe with a needless tackle. Arguably Solskjaer with a needless Twanzebe substitution. And it changes the narrative from what should have been a really happy match reaction with so many positives to focus on. But instead, we're staring down the barrel of United's crap defence. Jesus Christ, that was utterly pathetic from United at the end right there. And I've, si I've gone on record to say it before and I'll say it again. De Gea needs to be sold in the summer. And I'm not just talking about the mistakes he's made there. Although they were both horrendous to parry out for the first goal. And just dive at Calvert-Lewin's feet. Why is he standing up? Make yourself big. Be Schmeichel at that point. Jesus, Dave. Whoa. Dave saves. Well, not anymore, apparently. Absolutely culpable for that. United just could not see the game out. And it's just it, the Jekyll and Hyde of United this season, man. Because our front four, there's so many positives that I wanted to talk about in this game. But instead, I'm focusing on the negatives. In that game, that was probably the best United have played in attack in terms of the shape of our attack. Cavani making our attack tick on, uh, sorry, with and without the ball. But Rashford, Marcy, no, sorry, not Marcy, Rashford, Greenwood, Cavani and Bruno, those four together, the Football was fluid. The football was great. And Everton came there tonight to shut United down. Shaw and wan were being given the space, but not the space to cross. And then they were playing basically with three central midfielders behind James Rodriguez to shut Cavani and Bruno's space down. And it was working until Rashford's glorious cross into Cavani with his first chance of the game made it 1-0. And then Bruno with his Cantona moment. And it's taken me nearly three minutes to talk about it. Da man, that what a... Beautiful goal that was, which will now get completely forgotten about. That should be the headline from this game. And the impact that Bruno's had on this team and his, his Cantona arrogance and the swagger. But instead, I'm yapping on about how crap United's defence is. Look, I said the stat at the start, but I'll say it again. United have scored more than anybody in the Premier League this year. And we have conceded more than anybody inside the top 10. And if there is a game that you, that you need to show anybody this season to show what United's strengths are and what United's weaknesses are they were all on display there today attack wise we're blistering we're sexy going forward Cavani Rashford it was well he was off he was making the wrong decisions in terms of his own chances but that cross fantastic Bruno Fernandes oh man what a goal that was but then for six minutes we switched off at the start of that second half the ball gets played in, in behind Maguire look that he uh, Maguire's crap at running look, that's just Maguire look, no point complaining about that anymore. But De Gea's parry out, it wasn't even like, it wasn't like Dinya fizzed across and De Gea just about got his hand to it. It was basically like, just whispered into the box and De Gea just, just gently, gently pushed it. I think it was Decore who got Everton's first goal and then head's gone. Everton, they equalised within a few minutes. Furious. 45 minutes of total control from United. Six minutes of absolute clusterfuck. Don't know how else to describe it. But then United recovered. And that's the, the, the habit is still there. You know, it, uh, we're, we're good at coming... Uh, we're good at reacting to adversity inside games. We go 1-0 down. We seem to play better. We conceded the equaliser there. And then United came out. And we scored from a damn set piece. Luke Shaw, great cross. McTominay, average header. <laughs> and somehow their goalkeeper made the worst mistake of the game. Or did he? Because at that point, United just seemed in total control. And for the majority of today's game, we were in total control. But any time, any time it went near our defence, my arse was twitching. I was twitching. I was nervous. The last 10 minutes of that game, I was thinking, oh, please don't. Please, no. Come on, please don't. And then Tuanzebe gives that free kick away. You see the keeper coming up, he's saying... Please don't. And they did. The ball 
I don't know who. Just get your head on it. Maguire, you big slap head. Just put your head through that. But no, I don't know what happens. It just it ends up at Calvert-Lewin's feet. And De Gea, man, you've got to just throw your body at that. Like by the other day. I can't remember who we were playing. But that last minute cha- challenge that he made was a game-saving tackle. That was De Gea's opportunity. But instead he stood up. I don't know what he did. But he did sweet FA. Calvert-Lewin gets the equaliser. United dropped two points. And it's just a game which really, really really summarises United's brilliance and United's lack of quality. And it's not just about spending huge amounts to sign new players. And, oh, yeah, money's, the, money's, the, money's the answer. It's about signing the right players. Like Ruben, like City have spent so much money trying to replace company, but they signed the right player in Ruben Diaz. It's made all the difference. In the same way that Bruno Fernandes has made the difference to United's midfield and the overall quality of the team, and in the same way that Cavani has made a difference to our attack, and the shape of our attack and, and the players running on and off the ball, we need somebody like that at centre-back that can set the tempo and control our defence because I'm sorry, but Harry Maguire does not look capable of it. I've said, I said Harry Maguire's a decent defender, but I think he needs someone better than him alongside him. Maybe... Jeez, oh, man. That really should have been a really happy, positive match reaction because there were so many good things to focus on from that game. But instead, I cannot get away from the fact that our defence is just Sunday league. Our attack is Champions League. And until that divide is, is closed, we can't rely on our centre-backs anymore. I don't really think that we can rely on our full-backs. Our whole defensive line, we can't rely on to defend. So we're basically relying on our attackers scoring two or three goals per game for United to win. Obviously, we won 9-0 against Southampton, but they had 10 men from the third minute. And we cannot rely on our goalkeeper to make saves anymore. So basically, we don't want the ball in our half. When the ball is not in our half, United look confident on the ball. When the ball is in our half, all of us, we're sitting there hoping that something won't happen. And until that feeling goes away and until that's not the case United will never truly challenge for the Premier League and the Champions League which is what we want to do and something has to change in that defence good god what is it let me know what you think well, am I going overboard here but that is two points massively dropped and that is a hope unfortunately it could Look, I hope it's just another blip but in the, in the same way that Sheffield United and Arsenal I was hoping that wasn't a blip it wasn't because we We've gone and done that against Southampton, but then a few days later, we've gone and done that at home against Everton. Threw a 2-0 lead away, then recovered to 3-2, only to piss it all away right at the end with an absolutely Sunday league goal, with Sunday league defending and Sunday league goalkeeping the entire way through. Let me know what your match reaction is. Let me know what your opinion is in the comments, but that was really, really painful.